Wow, did not think that cabbage would be the one to carry this, uh, carry this one to victory. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> A few moments later. Oh, good. Uh oh, he just killed my garbage guy. Bye. <laughs> How's it going? They doubled up into me. I hate double battles so much. My goal is within the next hour to get through cold storage and get to clay. Let's see if we can do it. You face your rival on Route 6, Route 5, after the, uh, after the fourth gym. And that went fine. Tr uh, Trubbish actually, like, carried uh, that fight kind of hard. It was kind of amazing. Um, that being said, uh, there's the follow-up fight where there's the two Intimidate Heritiers, and um, one of them worked up, and my rival was like, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna attack that one, 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 I'm just gonna use a random move on this one, I'm gonna use a random move on this one again. Um, and it was, uh, it went about as well as you would expect. One of them worked up on me, and then they both, they, they double take down into the Trubbish, and so there was no way anything was surviving. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Not much I could do about that one. <laughs> It was just the way it was going to be. Let's get this thing here. Yeah, we lost the Trubbish. Very unfortunate. But we have gained a Pecking, which actually has pretty good IVs and can't have its defense lowered, so that's cool. And then we got ourselves a Sheer Force Frosty. Yeah, I, let, I on it. He, his ass, his? I don't remember. The garbage is uh, Acid Spray. Despite its special attack being a negative nature and um, also not being a special attacking Pokemon, was was able to like two hit kill like two or three things. It was kind of amazing. That special, that double special defense drop, man. I picked up a Sigilyph. I did pick. Uh, no, I picked up a Fungus a ducklet and a timber. Those are the encounters that we've gotten since Elsa. Uh, that being said, we clean, like, it was probably about the cleanest uh, sigilith in, uh, in the desert resort and uh, the cleanest sigilith and sigilith. Like, I just, I, uh, pretty much wiped through N pretty cleanly. I, I think the problem that I made in one of the, the ones, that, the run that I wiped on was, I think my problem was that I, my lead to take on their sand dial, the next most obvious switch in was Sigilyph, and I need to get through the rest of N's Pokemon and try and get Sigilyph out last. So that's what I basically did. I got through Sandile to force out a Darumaka to force out a Scraggy and then got to the Sigilyph, which I was able to paralyze with Thunder Wave and then was able to just do, do, do filthy things to it. It was great. <laughs> yeah, no Sigilyph. Sigiliths are not valid encounters for this run. Yes, filthy things. Okay, we got the Pampor. God, I wish this thing had Prankster. Could you imagine if this thing had Cotton Spore, Charm, and Prankster? Like, honestly, very underrated Mon if that has those three moves. That's fine. I wonder if we'll be able to... No, we won't be able to heal back to full on that. <laughs> I'll, we'll let your our imaginations wander. It's a, it's a psychic type. Let your imagination run wild. Um... <laughs> it's... <laughs> All, my mind immediately, because the mind is just in the gutter at this point, uh, my mind immediately went to someone like 
f calling a cop stripper like an off like a uh, so they have a whip, you know. So you know, th three's a party too. There, bud. <laughs> what what can you say? I don't know what you want from me, man. I, look at this. It's just, this is where we live. This is the brain. Mm, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> well, that's what my brain was not thinking either, so. <laughs> Pretty sure we probably just one hit kill this thing with Psybeam anyway, but always good to come prepared. Wow, we don't. I hope everyone else is enjoying whatever this conversation is, because this is degenerate. So, welcome to the stream. Like and subscribe if you want more of whatever this is. Hold on. Like emoji? Like emoji? Do it. Takes forever. There we go. Nice, clean, a thousand dollars. Okay, uh, Villanellite. Yes, they exclusively use Vaporeon's, Lapunny's, Gardevoir's, and uh, whatever, whatever else is on some list somewhere. A very, very gross Smasher Pass list. <laughs> Okay, this thing has rock throw, so we actually uh, probably just switch into jelly bean. Uh, actually, I'm probably just gonna switch into candy floss because the other thing already has damage on it. I just like to be safer rather than sorry, you know? See? It's gonna use rock throw. Oh my gosh. Belt, yeah. I'm just. <laughs> uh, you know, there's, a, there's probably. There's probably a ROM hack in there, for sure. <laughs> Good lord. Team, it's just like Team D-Gen, all they have is like, they start with like Bell Sprouts and Baneeries and uh, EVs, and then all of a sudden they just have, you know, all the, all the horrible things. <laughs> Okay, I did not realize he actually made it, but that makes sense. Now we're really just clearing through trainers here. Oko? Of course. Nice, nice, nice. Oko again. Is there homelessness in Pokemon? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> At least not that we know of. I'm trying to think if there's any like reference to anything generally homeless. <laughs> These questions are always kind of sort of interesting because the answer is like probably yeah. Like I'm sure there's stuff in the anime, but like is there stuff in the games? Beganeta. Should probably walk in there. Okay, we have a gauntlet of t of grunts. Uh, I gave him the scope one, so I'm gonna save. I'm gonna use the restroom quick. I will be back while I try and think of homelessness and continue to think about homelessness in Pokemon, and then we'll take on some grunts. B B R B. Poverty is a thing that exists, so I would imagine if there's poverty, there's probably some form of homelessness. 
If that is a cool answer to your question, bring it up the mood up in here. Homelessness and Pokemon. <laughs> Very curious. Granted, this is also a society that, you know, uh, you know, that I'm sure PETA would be super lit about. Um, do I have to... What happens? Okay. I'm assuming they just come in the, in the order of <laughs> what they're supposed to. Yeah, I think so. Okay, here we go. Gauntlet time. We need more. We need more gauntlets in Pokemon. That's okay. This is not in any order. It's just whatever order you want. That's fine. We still start with the Timber, which is still the best start. Crunch Hypnosis. Yeah, uh, Confuse Raid and Super Fang. Okay. We wake up slap. Please don't hit. Why would you use Crunch? Wonder how much damage this will do. All of it. All of the damage. You too. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Give ourselves a bulk up. Because this thing has pretty good defense. Or that thing has pretty good defense, I think. Let's see how much brick rate does. Not a lot. I'm going to give another bulk up. Since when is wake up slap food? Oh, it's not. But Frosty has sheer force. So there's that. So his sheer force uh, wake up slap is base 60. So sheer force gets that up to 80. And also is super effective. And also Frosty's attack is absolutely savage. So I would imagine that probably has everything to do with it. Let's see if this Oko's. I guess it, was, it is also a five level difference. So there's a lot of components to why that is good. <laughs> I think I just have to face the four on the right. Bam ba dam ba dam ba dam ba It's a lady grunt leap art? Okay. Of course, I'm going in the exact opposite order that I thought I would be going in. But that's fine. It's going to fake out, I would imagine. So we're probably just going to Oko. Oh, wow. Sure. Just knows it's gonna die right away. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Killing the game. This is the other lady, and this should have the trubbish. Um, here's the question. Do we yawn? Double slap? Oh, yeah, we for sure just yawn. <laughs> wow, is this gonna four? Is this a fiver? You hate to see it. Well, in all fairness, we don't know if we're killing the game just yet. We got a, we got a lot more to left. Honestly, the sixth gym is the most spooky thing in the world. Uh, so we got a lot of work to do. <laughs> nice quick claw proc. Okay, I should have just done that the whole time, apparently. I, five level, I gotta remember that five levels is a lot. Uh, what does Nightmare do? It, it just like, um... Yeah, it's basically like Curse, but they have to be asleep. What a terrible move. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, ba, bam. Let's see, even with... Did it, that actually put Intimidate down? Also very annoying that it lowers my accuracy. <gasps> Wait, no. We don't have the wide lens on this thing. That's fine. We're okay. Level 29. 31 is the level cap. Gotta remember. Half damage. This has to kill, otherwise we're switching. 
Got him. Okay, should we have a dance party? Oh shit, I have to hit B. <laughs> Me trying to get a reaction and dance party. <laughs> I believe this is Scald. Just kidding, it's never melt ice. Where did- did I get scald already? I think I'm just big dumb. Oh, okay, I see what we need to do. You go up, over, down. That's what we wanted, baby. Okay. We are now on to the gym.